Recent discoveries in bone biology have revealed the role of the rank ligand pathway in osteoclast-mediated bone loss and postmenopausal osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is a significant health burden, compromising the strength of bones and increasing the risk for fracture. Menopause is a key turning point in the skeletal health of women. Following menopause, declines in estrogen often lead to excessive bone remodeling activity and accelerated bone loss. Bone loss following menopause results from an imbalance of osteoclast and osteoblast activity. Osteoclasts are the specialized cells that resorb bone, and osteoblasts are the cells that form new bone. The discovery of the rank ligand pathway has been an important advance in our understanding of bone remodeling. Rank ligand, a protein expressed by osteoblasts, plays a key role in osteoclast formation, function, and survival through interaction with its receptor rank that is expressed on the surface of osteoclasts. Osteoprotegerin, or OPG, another protein secreted by osteoblasts, is a natural inhibitor of rank ligand and plays a role in regulating bone resorption. At the initiation of bone remodeling, lining cells move apart to expose the bone surface, become osteoblasts, and begin expressing rank ligand. Rank ligand binds to rank on osteoclast precursors, which initiates cell fusion and the formation of mature multinucleated osteoclasts. Rank ligand continues to bind to rank on mature osteoclasts. The binding of rank ligand to rank is essential for osteoclast formation, function, and survival. Following bone resorption, osteoblasts migrate into the pit. Osteoblasts fill the pit with new bone matrix. Some osteoblasts become embedded within the matrix and eventually turn into osteocytes, while others become new lining cells on the bone surface. In the final stage of remodeling, newly created bone matrix mineralizes and the bone returns to a resting state. The process of bone remodeling is regulated by factors including estrogen and OPG. Estrogen limits the amount of rank ligand expression by osteoblasts. And OPG blocks the binding of rank ligand to rank, thereby reducing osteoclast activity. In postmenopausal women, reduced levels of estrogen lead to increased expression of rank ligand by osteoblasts. Excessive rank ligand overwhelms OPG, leading to more osteoclasts, increased bone remodeling activity, and greater bone loss. Osteoblasts continue to deposit new bone matrix, but they cannot replace all of the resorbed bone. Therefore, resorption pits may not be completely refilled, which over time leads to thinning and weakening of bone. The progressive loss of bone following menopause reduces the structural integrity and strength of the skeleton. Bone loss may go undetected for many years until the occurrence of a fracture, a potentially serious and debilitating outcome of postmenopausal osteoporosis. In summary, in postmenopausal women, as estrogen declines, rank ligand expression increases. Elevated rank ligand levels lead to increased osteoclast formation, function, and survival. Greater osteoclast activity increases bone loss, weakens bone architecture, and can ultimately lead to fracture. We now understand the underlying biological mechanism of the increase in bone resorption that follows menopause.
Rank ligand is a key link between reduced estrogen levels and osteoclast-mediated bone loss.